so this is my new look. I really, really love this one. It's so fun and bright. It's pink and teal with little black dots. Can't really see them, but there's black dots right there also. So yeah, this one's a lot of fun, really simple, really exciting bright colors. I think it's totally wearable, like, then again, I think everything's totally wearable, but I think this one you can totally get away with. It's really, really fun. So, hope you enjoy it. Bye. So, I've already covered my lid with an eyeshadow primer. I use the Bare Minerals Prime Time. You can always use Urban Decay one, the primer potion. I don't like it as much, but that's just my opinion. Next, I'm going to take Makeup Forever Star Powder in this shocking pink color. And you're going to take it on, I'm using a basic eyeshadow brush, it's an e.l.f. brand brush. And this is going to seem a little backwards, but you're going to do it over the top of your lid to your crease, but you're not going to go down inside your crease. And you just want to work that pink up almost into your eyebrow. This is my favorite pink. I love it. It comes out so bright. You only need a little bit. And it's got a little hint of glitter in it, which makes me so happy. So once you've got that done, you're going to take a teal eyeliner. I'm using Sephora Flashy Liner in Flashy Blue color. That's what it looks like. And you're just going to use that to cover your crease and point it out a little bit at the end. kind of have to give this a few coats for the color to come out as vibrant as you want, unfortunately. So there's that. And just using the same pencil, you're just going to go underneath your eyelashes. And then I'm just using this really old Revlon color. It's just a shiny white. I'm using that for my highlight. And you only want a tiny bit just right next to your brow and on the inner corner. Next, we're going to take a white eyeliner. I don't even know what this is. Like, I don't know. I've had it for years. And you're going to put the white eyeliner on your waterline. It helps to steady your hand by placing your pinky and kind of pull down. And that'll make your waterline more accessible and hold your hand steady. It may not look very attractive, but whatever works. There's that. It may not seem like it makes a lot of difference, but it really like opens your eyes and makes them pop. It's great. You're also going to take that and right above where you winged out the blue, make three dots. And you can make dots really easily just by pressing it straight on and twisting a tiny bit. Not too hard because your eyelids loosen up that it'll twist with the pencil. They're just three little dots like that. 
coming up over your eye. Then you're just going to take any black eyeliner. I'm using Maybelline's Line Stiletto. I really like this because it's got a felt tip applicator, which is a lot easier to make small dots, which is what you're going to do over here inside the little white dots you made. You're just going to make a really small black dot. And then you can add a few in between if it looks a little hollow. And just make it come almost halfway over your eyelid. Not quite. And then let those dry a little bit if you need to. And then it's really hard to see on this eye, but there's little black dots right there. So you're going to do the same thing right there doesn't really matter how many you make. Just whatever looks good to you. Okay, so I'm just going to top it off with mascara. I'm using Maybelline's Lash Stiletto. Always go down on your lashes first to get the backs coated with mascara also. Okay, so that's the look. Hope you guys like. Bye.